Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you the new hobby I just started. Um, I wanted to start a saltwater reef tank and um, I just, I love fish, obviously, I'm a fisherman. I also like to snorkel a lot <clears throat> and go look at all the colorful fish, you know, in a tropical place such as when I was in Jamaica and um, Grand Cayman and I just want to uh, kind of make a small version of that for me at my home and I think I'll really enjoy it. It's quite complex, it's a lot of science to it and um, it's not easy and that's what I'm looking for as a challenge and I think my little boy will really enjoy all the colorful fish so I went out and I got the stuff this weekend and um, I did an uh, unorganized unboxing. It wasn't easy with recording and all that. There's, so it's kind of choppy, but um, I want you guys to see it and I'm really excited. And on the next video, I will get Philip's reaction to it. But here is the start of my new hobby. Okay, and here we go. Here is all the supplies I have to start my first saltwater reef. As you see here, I have my live rock. I found it, it was pretty good, the structure, I like how there's an arc and the fish can swim in and out. Um, and also it's not too big because I only got a 10 gallon. As you see, I did get a water box. They had some of the best reviews online. And I like their build, it's all in one. I got me a heater right there. Hydrometer right there. <clears throat> got me some live sand and also 10 gallons of pre-made salt water from my local fish store i'm going to record this this is going to be a new hobby for me i like i like snorkeling when i go on cruises and i love saltwater fish so i figure it'd be nice to add you know like that accent to my house um it'd be relaxing plus my son is starting to watch kid movies and i know he can relate to this because of nemo Hey Oscar. Okay, so I will record me setting this up and I'll give y'all play by play of what I'm doing. I really don't have a clue, but let's hope this goes well. Also, I forgot one thing that I forgot. Turbo start. This right here, I'm putting it in. It's good bacteria. It helps it, you know, get out of the whole new tank stage. And that way I can put in some fish pretty quick. The only thing I can put in with this stuff right now is the fish and of course the live rock um, later on I'll be able to put in corals after it cycles but this is the start of it and I hope it goes well okay now I'm going to start unboxing everything I have all the stuff to the side waters over there we're gonna be unboxing the water box cube 10 all in one here we go I'm doing this with one hand so bear with me I want to be really careful because this does have glass. Well, it's made of glass. Let's be realistic here. And I don't want to scratch it. I'm using a tripod right now. Thank you, Lacey. And there she is in all of her glory. Okay, unboxing number two. And now we're unboxing the second box. Alright, some cardboard, styrofoam, and this is two. <gasps> there it is. Wow. Okay, there's the return on the water. And this is ruined. So we will be taking this back to the person I bought it from. Terrific. This tank is completely broken down here. Um, it's completely cracked. And that's horrible. This ruined my whole video. <sighs> I guess I will be back tomorrow after I replace this one. So, as y'all saw yesterday, well, you just saw in the clip right before this, 
Um, I got my water box tin and I opened it up and it was destroyed by shipping. So I took it back to the guy I got it, which amazing work. Um, really good guy. If y'all are ever in Houston and need anything aquatic, FJW Aquariums. Um, he took care of me right away. And um, we checked, he was gonna swap it out. So we checked it and we opened the box and that other tin was destroyed. So I was off to a late start and he knew it. So we checked the water box 20 opened it up and it was fine so he cut me a deal because i bought uh i bought stuff from him and he's wanting to help me out but yeah i am gonna try to set up now the water box 20. round two let's see how we do okay rock the box number two Super gentle. Okay, let me get this out. I'll cut you. This is more difficult than it looks. I am just afraid to take any chances by sliding it out, so I'm gonna unwrap the box all the way around it. So this is hopefully the right way to do it, but so far it looks great. I'm very excited to start this reef and hopefully this box will take me all the way. Okay, everything is unboxed and let me tell you, this thing is slick. All the edges look nice. The back looks awesome, no cracks, not dirty, nice and clean. It comes with the return pump and all the valves for it. It also has your filter, your sponges, your bio balls, and your carbon. I don't know if I'll be using all the filter media, but I will, uh, I'll look it up because I'm new at this. Anyways, this thing is sleek, so let's get some shots of it. So here we are. I skipped a lot of steps with you guys and I apologize, just I needed two hands for everything, but let's start with the basics. Okay, I put in all the filters. I put in the uh, sock filter, the bio balls, and then the um, sponges down there. I also have the return pump hooked up. And as you can see, it is running smoothly. I put my rock down there. Well, actually, no, I lied to you. I put my sand down there. I got some live sand so I can get the good bacteria going. And you can't see it, but I have my live rock. It'll be a nice arch whenever this clears up in a couple days or in the morning. Um, filled it up. I only needed around, I'd say, 18 gallons of salt water because of the rock and the sand in there. I might have to fill this up a little more, but I don't know. And I have my light on the way, but just for now so I can see it, I got this cheap Walmart light. Um, it has a clamp. And to keep in place, I use one of my son's diapers back there. <laughs> but it's doing swell, as you can see. Hopefully it'll clear up and y'all can see it more in the morning. I also have my heater going. And I did that bag of um, liquid that came with the sand to clear it up. And then on top of that, I did some turbo start to get the good bacteria going. And because I did the turbo start, I need a source of, I think ammonia is what it is. So tomorrow I have to get a fish or two, but I will show you all that tomorrow and y'all can help me name them. Anyways, let's get some shots of this. <laughs>
guys, we're picking back up from last night, and today we are going to pick up our clownfish, and maybe a little surprise of something else. Anyways, here we are. This place is a hole in the wall FJW Aquarium, but there may be a hole in the wall, uh, but they have amazing products, amazing customer service, and it doesn't get much better. Okay, here we are. Hey, Dee. Hello. How are you? How are you? This is the place where I get my shop. $50. I said, Curtis, you're working that many hours. That's all I like to do. Okay, and here we are. The day is done. The tank kind of looks blurry on video, but it's crystal clear. As you guys can see, I got two clownfish. Y'all get to pick their names, so let me know in the comments below. I hope you like this video. I am very excited about this hobby. And, um, I can't wait to see where it goes. I also have my cleanup crew down at the bottom. Those are some hermit crabs. I got five of them. They're not very lively yet, but I feel they will be. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please help me name these clownfish. Anyways, thank you very much.